In this video, we're going to show you our backyard garden tour for July 2019. And we're going to start right now. What's going on YouTube Gardener? It's your boy Sydney from the Naked Garden Channel. In this video, we're gonna show you an update of our garden from Blast Garden Tour. Now, this bed is our just a regular old simple garden bed that we normally do what uh, most people just uh, fill up and do regular fertilizer and whatever it may be. Uh, pretty much everything has been growing on here pretty well. Uh, we got the okra. Uh, the red burgundy okra in here is starting to starting to take off. I had to reseed them because they were kind of stunted at growth. Uh, for the simple fact, when we brought in the soil from um, the local uh, company that we brought in the soil, we forgot to add amendments instead of just adding some wood chips and mulch and stuff. So we've been kind of doing the heavy fertilizing of uh, this bed and replanted a lot of these uh, okras. So we're happy about now that they're starting to come up and starting to um, do some of their pods and everything. We just harvest one uh, not too long ago. And this one is our passion flower. We started this last year and it was didn't take off too well, but then all of a sudden this spring, now it's starting to grab onto uh, the net uh, trellis and now this little uh, arch trellis here that we got from the cattle panel from uh, uh, another uh, archway over there. So now that we've been feeding the soil, it's everything in this, uh, this bed now is starting to come alive. So now we're going to go over to our compost. All right, now we're over here to our compost bed. Uh, we're trying to add more compost and manure and eggshells and banana peels, basically stuff that biodegrades uh, real easily. Uh, we're excited about this bed because how the cucamelons is starting to take over this net trellis and it just, as you can see, starting to climb up on this uh, arch trellis that we got uh, here. And we got a few um, cucamelons. Oh, better go. They got three over there. Got, what was it two right here here got two right here oh and another one right there so we're excited about that and how that is and we were trying to hopefully get some type of harvest out of these lettuce but as you can see they're going to flower so we're gonna pull these up and put some of these eggplant varieties in here we got the black beauties and the purple purple stripe ones that we're going to I'm going to remove these and and move up as y'all can see we got some um, some irrigation system going in here we'll tell you a little bit more about that and what else here we got this uh, basil that is starting to grow up pretty well I got this from a cutting that we got from a store and that's I just every time it grows up about four four inches I just cut it off again and just kind of expand he's and go a little through. obsessed with uh, propagating basil yeah. and propagate just about every time it grows up I'll propagate it and just keep on planting in different places because I love Mrs. Naked Gardener's uh, pesto sauce that she makes so we're trying to get more and more uh, pesto in here uh, we got the Napa cabbage I think that one's about pretty much dead on there it's going away so we're gonna probably either plant something else there maybe add some more basil over there and uh, this is our arch trellis that we got some um, red beans growing up on here as you can see you got one bean right there already growing so I'm happy about that 
The thing I would do next year is I will put the beans more closely to the entry archways because I've been seeing a lot of birds uh, hopping on here and trying to peck at these uh, flowerets and, and everything. So that is definitely something that we're going to have to uh, do later on. So here in our container garden, we have, let's start right here. We got the bee balm growing right here we have our tiny Tims is basically almost seen their last days of uh, fruiting next time we will be doing succession planting of these because they've been getting harvest almost every day they're rock stars yeah here we have the milkweed and this one we have the zania it's a mazurka mazurka zania zania and then we have uh the California Wonder Pepper. Then we got a big, nice pepper right there. And then over there, we have another pepper. With showing, as you can see right here. A nice big pepper. And this is the Cora Bell pepper. And then we have, we're gonna pull this one. Uh, this one's been going to flower here. This is the red, giant red mustard. Has a nice peppery flavor to them. Uh, this is the Hungarian wax pe pepper. And as you can see, we've been getting, getting some good sized peppers off of here. I think this is the size that you want to harvest. If I'm not too sure, comment down below. Let us know what size that we need to start plucking those. Uh, here we have a, I think this was a red. Yeah, this is a big red. So it's gonna turn green, then go to red on there. And this one shouldn't have been over here, but this is, I think is the, uh, the Anaheim chili. Is this one right in there? There, where? Oh, right here, yeah. We got some peppers there, especially right here. I think they're supposed to turn red. But these been getting a lot of peppers on that. And then this one is supposed to be a sun bright, but I don't see any peppers on that one. We'll go over. We got the artichoke growing in that one. We have a lot of cayennes here growing. It's supposed to have been some other one. Might be on the other plant. Uh, we have uh, some columbine, columbine that's went going, I guess, dormant now. Some green beans in this one. This is the ancho peppers. I haven't seen any peppers on this one just yet. Uh, this is the ancho grande. There we got one small one for the grande. And this is this is the cayenne long one that is like have a plethora of peppers growing on there and then this one is the habanero we're gonna have to water this one once it gets a little bit cooler we'll put we'll water this one it's kind of looking kind of flimsy right here and so next we'll go over to the hookah culture all right, now we're over to our hugo culture bed. And since this was over our tree, we try to do a lot of uh, brassicas and fall garden, just as uh, fall plants in here, just to see how well it do. But the heat just came a little bit too fast. We got a lot of these lettuce that's uh, going to flower here. Uh, so we're gonna have to remove these out. The kale is doing pretty strong because those are actually, kale is uh, something that you could plant almost year round our zone in uh, Texas here so uh, we're gonna keep those in there these eggplants aren't going too well but I'm loving these peppers here uh, these are our sun bright uh, peppers that we got from MI Gardener Luke from MI Gardener and they're coming up pretty doing pretty nice good now big one right the, we are I'm starting to see a little bit aphid so I'm gonna sp spray it down with water and if it still comes up, I'm gonna to have to do a, a neem oil spray on there later on this evening. I'm gonna put a link up there right here to show you some of the ways that we use neem oil uh, for our garden and everything. But 
other than that this is going to be one of our hopefully well produced beds that i'm looking for uh for next year we should have started this at the beginning of the fall of last year but we didn't have this bed and area prepared but something that we're learning of one of our experiment beds that we're doing next we're going to go over to the worm tower bed and this bed is our worm tower bed uh, we this so far this one has been the most productive uh, bed out of the four and I guess just because of the, the natural um, things that we feed, feed it from the food waste that we have in there and the worms just go in and out and do their own vermicomposting inside of the beds. Uh, for instance, we had this Purple Beauty. If y'all follow us on Instagram, I put the links down here below, but we harvest some good uh, Purple Beauties, uh, bell peppers off of this one. Uh, we uh, started to grow more okra on here and we got a bell pepper. This is a California bell. Uh, California Wonder and it's a small bell pepper but it is producing and uh, it's doing very well and then we got the shishito peppers I'm not sure when is a good time to pick these if y'all know comment down below and let us know uh, what size and how do you know when's a good time to uh, harvest these uh, shishito peppers I'm very excited about these those were from uh, Luke from MI Garden and uh, this is another pur uh, purple beauty that we have growing here. It starts off green and then it turns into this dark, dark purple. And it kind of like a sweet but peppery uh, flavor to that. So that's why we're gonna start. Uh, we saved the seeds and we're gonna uh, keep on growing these. I'm also excited about these spaghetti squash. We make a lot of vegan uh, spaghetti. Uh, with a spaghetti squash from the store. Now we can start uh, harvesting these uh, ourselves and don't have to worry about going to the store. And as you can see, it's starting to climb up this trellis as well. So we're just gonna let it do its thing, let it go wherever it goes. And it's gonna be a good uh, ground cover uh, for this bed as well. Uh, next, we'll go over to the uh, the three sister garden that we're going to have to modify all right this is our mod is going to be our modified uh three sister method gardening bed as you can see our corn stopped growing for some reason i guess uh, we needed to add some more nitrogen or something to it but the the beans and the squashes are all doing well even our watermelon is starting to even produce very well on air and the uh starting to grab onto the corn and everything i think because of I, I hurt my arm and we couldn't cut down this uh limb like we wanted to and right now since it's above 85 degrees we don't want to stress the tree out so something that we're going to have to do during the fall season but what we're thinking about doing is just calling this the modified uh, sister method gardening and just going to have around the peas having a TP trellis on that and I'm gonna stick some I stuck some uh, sunflowers and some amaranth down here hopefully that will grow from there we're gonna put a video on how we modified started and modified it from there so stay tuned if you haven't subscribed already make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that way you get notified when we uh, do one of these videos all right here we have our two-tier garden uh, we got this idea from Rachel from Garden for Cheap. I put her link down below. Uh, I saw her video where she did this to get a, uh, to store some of her container. And Mrs. Naked Garden, she doesn't like a lot of clutter. So she was all down for, you know, doing something like this. So that gets rid of a lot of our containers. If you look from our previous uh, youth, uh, garden tour, where everything was everywhere. Now it's a lot more cleaner and fluid and organized. But uh, we've been posting this on Instagram a lot of something like that. Uh, Daria, Dahlia, Dar Dahlia of Daria love. Of love. Uh, Dahlia. Uh, it's just been producing back and forth, just going back. You know, just almost every week we're getting a, a new bud on there. The garlic looks like it's about ready to be harvested. 
Uh, I'm not sure what's wrong with these lilies. Uh, I might just cut these off and just store them for next season. Who knows? Uh, we got some extra, I think this was ginger or turmeric in here. Uh, I think this was ginger. Yeah, this was ginger when we're clearing out. We had a bed right here and we was clearing out one, I guess one I missed. And so it started to sprout up. So I just stuck it into this little container. Uh, this one is the Hummingbird uh, Texas Mint. I'm looking at a little lizard. Uh, I'm excited about this. Once it gets a little bit, uh, starting to get more flowers on there, uh, we're gonna probably put it out through the garden so that way the hummingbirds and bees are able to uh, feed on that. Uh, I think that's really about it that I'm excited for in this, this area. Uh, next, we're gonna show you uh, Mrs. Naked Gardener uh, Herb Garden. All right, these are the tomatoes for the Tomato Grow Off 2019. This is the pineapple and pork chop tomatoes. Uh, we, when we went to go see Jill at Seas and Dream, we did a tour of her garden. Uh, we noticed a, uh, she had these uh, uh, steaks here, the terracotta steaks, where you just put a, a wine bottle or empty, uh, empty wine bottle or empty bottle in there. Uh, to put in there and you just fill it up with water and as the uh, water uh, goes through the terracotta stakes the roots of the plant will grab onto the moisture of that plant so we did these for these uh, tomatoes uh, here and this is just a day this is a day worth of, a lot of it was emptied out for when I had poured it in to try to grab figure out how to how to do it but Something to learn in the process from there. I'm gonna be have to put a cage around here. My due date for these tomatoes, August 5th. I don't think I'm gonna make it, but it's something that we learn from there. So uh, over here we have her uh, herb garden, number one, where we have a lot of these uh, basil that we need to start. I'm gonna start clipping off and propagate more of these uh, basil. We have the safflower, a safflower. Uh, that we got from Baker's Creek. These are the red Rubens, and those are the just regular sweet basil. And there is a tomato cutling that I snuck off and put in her bed. And mm -hmm. <laughs> then we got some tarragon, some lavender, and some uh, thyme in there. What do we have here behind it? Uh, behind there, we have another tomato plant. I believe that is a uh, Garden Delight? Yes. Okay. And then we got uh, the mosquito centronella plant, which I thought it was to ward off uh, mosquitoes, but apparently that was a, I guess a folk's tale. It doesn't really uh, ward off mosquitoes because we was getting ate up by them. Over here, we're going to have to cut back some of the mint, uh, some of the sage, and the uh, thyme here has just been... Uh, very dry so we're gonna cut this back and let it regrow again you want to do especially thyme and mint in containers because they're very invasive they will take over your garden and then this bed is just a replica of what we have over in this bed and uh, it, it hasn't been getting that much sunlight uh, in here so it's not as thriving as the other one so what we're gonna probably do next year as a, once again, a lesson learned is probably put some low light uh, herb over here where it doesn't require a ton of light and still be able to grow. Uh, but once again, you got your sage, your your mint, and I think we got lemon balm in there as well. And uh, some, I think that's the hot and spicy uh, oregano right there. Yeah. And behind here is we have the ginger plant. And this is just going up so good. I can't wait to harvest this coming up in the fall, beginning of the fall when these die off. Starting to smell it off a bit too. Mm -hmm. And over here is the, our turmeric that we're growing. Uh, it looks like it has some type of, I know it can't be fertilized because I really, all I do is just water these, but some type of damage on here. If y'all know what that is, if that's common, just let me know, comment down below. Uh, but all I normally do is for both of these is just water it down. We have another pineapple plant right here uh, That we need to get some more wine bottles for so if y'all know anyone that uh, Does make their own wine 
and would like to send us a bottle for us to do a taste test go ahead and do that uh, next we'll I think that was really all that for the garden that we have for here as you can see we've got a lot of mulch throughout our beds and got this nice little walkway we went to a uh, Lindsley tree service here in uh, Dallas uh, all you have to do is just go there with a shovel, bag, container, whatever you want to fill up your your uh, garden with or your bags with to bring it out and use it for your garden. That's perfectly fine. Um, you don't, I wouldn't suggest using these in your garden bed, maybe in your flower bed for the simple fact that you don't know what type of trees that they cut down, if it was a disease ridden tree or anything of that nature so you don't want to put that in your bed that you're going to be uh, later on eating on so we figured it'd be perfect for a to um, lay it down as a bedding in our backyard because we have high clay area back here when it this year has been real bad with uh rain and so it just gets mud in here mrs naked garner don't want me tracking mud in her in her house so i got to keep her happy mm -hmm. so uh, that's one thing that we added for this month. Another thing we added for if y'all been paying attention and following along with us, we added a PVC roofing over our pergola. So now during the when it rains or anything of that nature, we can still sit up underneath the porch and don't have to worry about getting rained on and anything. And another thing that we've uh, added, but this is going to be one of the best things so far that I've added into the garden this year for the simple fact I don't have to drag the holes all the way over through the far part of the bed and start the water and I do a deep water where I do about 10 seconds per each plant of a deep soaking and I do it every three days and that just gets tiresome and so what this does it's going to save a lot of time and then we cleared out all of this this was when I used to do fencing and everything on the side job. I had some fence posts over here in pickets. Uh, now Mrs. Naked Garden wants us to build a, a drying, watering, uh, wash rack over here. We're gonna do a two tier, one at one level, another uh, another level where it folds up and down, where when we're uh, pulling any of our produce and she wants to wash it down before putting it inside the house, carrying mud and stuff throughout the house. She's gonna be able to use it here. Uh, this is our new fertilizer tank if y'all didn't know about that we'll put a link of how we now fertilize to kind of speed up the process of working smarter and not harder throughout our garden that's our main key that mrs naked gardener and i would like to do is find out ways to help us work smarter and not harder throughout our garden so those are some of our accomplishments that we've done Comment down below to let us know some of your accomplishments that you've done uh, this year. Some of the uh, future things that we're looking forward to is one is um, like we mentioned before is having Mrs. Naked Gardener put a uh, wash dryer storage rack right over there. We're also going to be doing a worm bin over there by the compost where we just did a compost video. Uh, so that way we can start uh, harvesting our own worm casting and uh, ver ver castings and everything. Uh, then our next one, we're also going to put a herb ladder right there. Uh, so that way Mrs. Nicka Gardner can have all her herbs uh, growing up there throughout the season. She's going to have the parsley, uh, basil, um, cilantro all the basically type of herbs are going there we're going to do a video on that of how we're going to construct it and uh, put it into the system there uh, the next one that we're going to do is we're going to do a fence with some cattle panel going all the way around there around the garden the perimeter of the garden with the gate and the reason for that is that we don't we're going to have a lot of pollinators in there pretty soon and we don't want sage the cat trying to kill or harming any of the butterflies the bees or any type of insect that's going to help pollinate uh, our garden uh, from there uh, we also have another video coming up pretty soon on the next garden tour showing uh, you 
the Tomato Alley Garden that we're doing. Uh, something that Mrs. Nick Gardner deemed. What it is, is we had a compost out in the area and through the side of our house and the city of Dallas made us uh, remove it. So we moved it underneath the tree. And then all of a sudden we start seeing a variety of tomatoes just growing up. So we decided not to cut them down. We're just gonna keep it there. But we added some extra seedlings uh, tomatoes there and we're kind of making it like a bush. So stay tuned for that. So if you like this garden tour, I'm gonna put a link right here of our previous garden tours uh, that we've done in the past. And to the next video, let's grow together.